Mr. Olinger, you're next up. You get to choose anyone of your fellow candidates to direct your question to, and again, you have one minute to uh, mm -hmm. I'll return to David Bob. This is, this is the question we'll all answer for. You're pro-life, pro-constitution, pro-business. So are we all. What makes you different from us? I think the biggest thing that makes myself different from that everyone is uh, that I will be 100% successful. And if I'm elected to this seat, I'll gladly give each and every one of you my cell phone number. I'm not going away. I want to be your representative. Uh, I believe that my listening skills are one of my very strong strengths. And I have friends on both sides of the table. Many, there, there's many days that you can catch me at the Sabre Dish in the morning debating with someone on pro-life issues. And I believe in the old book. I believe in the Bible. And uh, I believe when our Constitution was written, uh, God was used numerous times. And I had a precinct person ask me the exact question. Would you take God out of out of the, the Constitution? Would you take God out? And as I get excited, those that know me, are you, I, I looked at him and I said, in knowing my stance, and knowing my beliefs, absolutely not does God need to be removed from anything. And the problem is, half percent of the population wants God removed. Eighteen percent of current elected officials go to some place of worship on Sunday, which is mind-boggling. So what does that tell each and every one of us? That these people that we've elected, those that are Christian people, these people don't even practice essentially what they're preaching. So strong listening skills. I'll be 100% accessible to each and every one of you. Each and every one of you represent a group of people. You need to carry your vote down to Republican headquarters this Saturday and sleep with your decision at the end of the night, knowing that you elect the best leader that can serve the 84th district. And those that know me, I believe, truly believe that I'm the person that can lead this district. Mr. Olinger, you have a two-minute response to that. In the interest of getting to the audience question, Mr. Jones, one minute. I'll, I'll just say that basically my background and my experience, and I've talked about it already, a lot of the is around running to do a job serving you all. I think that what we've all served by any of us, I think what sets me apart is my interest in already as in the third district, getting you answers, getting the information out, and working hard for you every day. You can do that as I've done it, and I'll be able to go even more time and energy to it because it's a much smaller area to serve. Thanks. Mr. Burns. Well I think three words leadership, experience, and accomplishment. My leadership as uh, we talked earlier about how I've been able to take on tough challenges in the community and actually accomplish change in the community, transforming the community in the areas that it's uh, many thought was on uh, The whole concept of experience as an electrical contractor working with commercial industrial uh, projects, getting out there and serving them, serving people and fixing their problems, solving their solutions. What that's done is immersed me in virtually every environment you can think of. I can speak to virtually any individual about what they do and how they live and understand what they're doing. I think it's a critical feature. As a county commissioner, I've been involved in the state legislature, I've been involved with government, I understand the uh, give and take of government, and I think our team in Allen County has done a really good job. I think we'd like to be proud of, proud of there with some things we've done. Uh, Thank you. Mr. Morris, you have a final one minute response. I'll wait for the uh, call. Sounds good. Mr. Pill, 